Extinction is supposed to be forever, but some birds never got the memo. Across remote islands, unexplored jungles, and forgotten wetlands, eyewitnesses report sightings, sounds, and strange feathers from creatures long thought gone. Could it be? Are these birds really extinct? Or just hiding in places we stopped looking? Today we bring you 10 more extinct birds that might still be alive. Some vanished over a hundred years ago, others disappeared suddenly and without warning, but all share one thing, the rumors never stopped. Let's dive into part two, and you won't believe number one. The first creature on our list is the Carolina parakeet. Once the only native parrot species in the US, the Carolina parakeet was declared extinct in the early 1900s, but bird watchers in rural Georgia and Florida claim to have spotted bright green and yellow birds in isolated woods. Some say they travel in tight, chattering flocks, just like the original parakeets. Articles dating back to the 1950s suggest small colonies may have persisted unnoticed. Could this bird still be alive in the shadows of the American South? Recent studies have explored the idea of DNA remnants in related birds, while remote camera traps have captured images of parrot-like birds in unexpected locations. The southeastern wetlands may still hold secrets waiting to be rediscovered. Next, we head to the Indian Ocean for the Réunion Ibis. This bird vanished in the 1700s from the island of Réunion, east of Madagascar. It's one of the rarest birds ever recorded, known only from traveler accounts and a few drawings. However, hikers and researchers have reported seeing large, long-beaked birds in the island's most remote regions. Could this flightless mystery be hiding in the volcanic forests where few dare to tread? With vast swaths of Réunion's highlands still unexpected, explored due to rough terrain and heavy foliage, scientists argue it's plausible that an unknown ground-dwelling species still survives, especially if it evolved to avoid predators and humans alike. Our third contender is the elusive New Caledonian button quail. Last officially recorded in 1912, this tiny ground-dweller from New Caledonia is often dismissed as extinct. But locals frequently describe encounters with a small, shy bird with a mottled body and short tail exactly like the button quail. Some researchers believe the thick underbrush of the island is perfect cover. It wouldn't be the first time a species hid in plain sight. The recent rediscovery of the New Caledonian Owlet Nightjar, once also believed extinct, gives hope that the button quail could be next. Expeditions using audio lures and tracking dogs are now underway in key areas. Adding to the intrigue, some naturalists have documented faint tracks and nesting sites deep within the untouched forest floors, just enough to keep the mystery alive. Soaring into fourth place is the mysterious Oahu petrel. This Hawaiian seabird vanished before the 1900s, likely due to invasive predators. But over the past few decades, strange calls have been recorded offshore during nesting season. Fishermen report dark birds circling boats at dusk, matching descriptions of the Oahu petrel. With the deep cliffs and isolated sea caves of the islands, could a few breeding pairs have survived the centuries? Modern technology like thermal drones and remote microphones may find finally solve this mystery. Several promising audio spectrograms closely match the petrel's known vocal pattern, suggesting its story might not be over. And with more areas now protected from invasive species, the environment is becoming increasingly favorable for hidden survivors to thrive once again. Halfway through the list, we rediscover the Dusky Seaside Sparrow. Declared extinct in 1990, the Dusky Seaside Sparrow once lived in the salt marshes of Florida's Merritt Island. But not long after, birders claimed to hear its distinct buzz call echoing in nearby wetlands. Some believe hybrid sparrows may carry its genes, but others insist a few pure dusky individuals may have escaped extinction. With restoration efforts underway in Florida, could this bird make a surprise comeback? The Smithsonian recently reanalyzed archival audio recordings and found surprising consistencies with newly recorded marsh calls, hinting at the possibility of survival, or at least a very close relative. Field researchers also uncovered old banding reports that suggest a small group may have migrated further south than previously thought. Our sixth feathered phantom is the Jamaican Porak, known for its haunting nighttime call, 
this nocturnal bird disappeared in the late 1800s. It was unique to Jamaica, where it roamed the forests like a shadow. Modern day campers have reported chilling cries that match the old descriptions. and even strange glowing eyes reflecting in the night. Could the Jamaican Porak still be haunting the highlands? Despite centuries without a confirmed sighting, its preferred habitat, remote mountainous cloud forests, remains largely undisturbed. Researchers have begun using night vision cameras and acoustic sensors to investigate. Some ornithologists even speculate that the Porak may have adapted its call over time to avoid detection by predators and humans. Number seven takes us to the Amsterdam Island Duck. This duck was last seen in the 1800s on a remote island in the Indian Ocean, but recent conservation surveys discovered strange feather patterns and tracks near the island's lakes. While there's no video evidence, the isolation of Amsterdam Island means a hidden population could survive without human contact. A rediscovery could rewrite the island's entire ecological history. Genetic studies of surrounding duck populations on nearby islands have shown unexplained markers, possibly remnants of the Amsterdam duck's lineage. Biologists are now calling for deeper fieldwork. In fact, recent expeditions have begun placing remote motion sensor cameras near suspected watering holes. Eighth on our list is the bold and colorful Norfolk Kaka, a brightly colored parrot from Norfolk Island who was said to be noisy, curious, and playful. By the mid-1800s, hunting and habitat loss drove it to extinction. Yet recent audio recordings from the island's interior captured strange calls unlike any living species. Some believe the Norfolk Kaka, or its hybrid descendants, might still cling to survival. Recent drone flyovers have captured footage of small flocks darting through treetops, flashes of red and green that don't match any known current species in the region. Locals also report discovering unusual feathers on forest paths, sparking interest in conducting DNA analysis. Coming in ninth is the long-lost slender-billed grackle. Native to central Mexico, this glossy blackbird was declared extinct in the early 1900s. But even today, local farmers report flocks of dark birds with unusual calls and oddly shaped beaks. Researchers believe remote lakes and wetlands in the region could harbor surviving grackles, and field studies are still underway. Interestingly, several migratory flocks recorded near the Valle de Bravo area were recently observed using unusual foraging strategies, unique to the original grackle. Environmental DNA tests of water sources near these sightings have returned mixed signals, adding even more mystery to its potential survival. And finally, the tenth creature completing our list is the Mauritius Blue Pigeon. Overshadowed by its cousin, the Dodo, the Mauritius Blue Pigeon vanished in the 1830s. But for nearly two centuries, travelers have reported sightings of unusual blue-gray birds deep in the island's mountains. With the dense terrain and increasing conservation efforts on Mauritius, could the Blue Pigeon be the island's next living legend? Some ecologists have found molted feathers and nests high in the trees, bearing no resemblance to known modern species. It may only be a matter of time before someone catches one on camera, and if it's rediscovered, it would be one of the most remarkable avian comebacks in natural history. Which of these vanished birds do you think might still be alive? From tropical islands to backwoods marshes, the search continues. Extinction doesn't always mean the end. And as long as people keep hearing strange calls in the dark or spotting flashes of forgotten feathers, the legends will live on. If you enjoyed this, hit like, subscribe, and stay tuned, because there are more creatures out there that refuse to disappear. And if one of these birds is found alive, what else might be hiding in the wild?